In the world of modern warfare, aircraft carriers hold a crucial role, first introduced in 1910. These massive carriers are specially designed to hold and store military helicopters, fighter jets, and artillery. Modern units like the USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 weigh over 100,000 tons when fully loaded. It includes a flight deck that measures about 256 feet and stands a staggering 134 feet tall. However, despite having these capabilities, these battleships are also big targets. Enemy submarines, ships, and aircraft are all a constant threat to these carriers. So, to keep the people on board safe from any attacks, crew members must keep practicing drills to avoid attacks on the ship. Crew members carry out ship maneuvering drills frequently. All vessels do this, and aircraft carriers are specially equipped for this job. See, these bad boys can move at a speed of about 30 knots, which is equal to 34.5 miles per hour. It's pretty impressive for something the size of a skyscraper. These ships also have the ability to change their route and speed suddenly to cut off any potential attacks. They operate in groups. The minute an enemy is detected, the aircraft carrier can launch dozens of planes and choppers to patrol the area. Other ships also accompany the aircraft carrier and constantly look for undersea threats like submarines and eliminate them. In the early 1900s, naval forces all around the world were shifting their focus from heavy machinery to developing ships and aircraft with stealth technology. Now, you might be wondering, how can stealth help in times of war? The significant contribution of a stealth bomber is that it can reduce the radar cross-section of an aircraft to that of a bird allowing it to enter the enemy airspace without being detected. Stealth fighters and stealth bombers were revealed and military engineers were thrilled by the idea of having ships with technology helping them to evade radar. See, these ships are equipped with an acoustic signature reduction system and radar cross-section reduction technology, leaving not even the slightest hum. The Zumwalt class is the most famous stealth ship used by the U.S. military. Now, it's important to notice that the U.S. Zumwalt and its fellow ships did not come without problems. For instance, the typical full-sized aircraft takes about $12 billion to be manufactured from scratch. However, the Zumwalt cost a third of that, including the development cost, which was $22.5 billion. The Zumwalt also lacked an air defense capability and was not well suited for its role as a destroyer. As of 2016, the U.S. military has abandoned the USS Zumwalt and it's producing more Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers built around the Aegis combat system. These multi-mission vessels consist of anti-radar systems and service-to-air weapons and even a freaking harpoon missile launcher. Now, unlike the Zumwalt, every inch of the Arleigh Burke is filled with weaponry. This thing is not only designed to defend itself, but the flight members as well. And to test the withstanding capacity of the Arleigh Burke, the Navy performs shock trials. See, a bomb is set off near the ship to see how it reacts. Shock testing is crucial for preparing new or repaired vessels to be deployed. Navies all around the world are pursuing increasingly advanced ships. Thus, testing methods for their certifications will get more rigorous. Now moving on to another war machine used by the U.S. Navy, submarines. Modern submarines are often called the kings of stealth. But why are these underwater vessels so feared? Submarines today are quieter than ever due to their advanced engineering. These beasts leave no sign virtually, making them hard to detect by radar systems. Submarines in the pitch black darkness of the ocean move like a natural current, unseen, unheard, and unknown. These underwater predators pack a powerful punch and can cause massive damage. For example, in the post-Cold War era, a practice drill was held in the North Atlantic. An Allied submarine managed to go through an entire carrier's protective screen undetected, showing its capability. Submarines carry a vast range of weapons they can launch from the shadows of the sea. Torpedoes with advanced guidance technology capable of detecting the hull of a carrier and destroying it, and sea mines that lurk unseen for years before detonating. Missiles that can go from below the waves to far beyond the horizon to strike targets without giving them a clue. Now, let's swim up from the depths of the oceans and take a look at missiles that fill the deck of these Navy carriers from every corner. These missiles are like having a cheat code in a game. They are fired from so far that they're beyond the horizon, way past where the radar systems usually see. 
It's like having a bow and arrow that can launch an arrow from one part of the town to the other without anybody noticing it. These missiles stay low, just above the sea waves, which can put them on the radar. However, some of these missiles can travel at speeds up to a shocking 500 miles per hour. For instance, even if a missile is detected, there isn't much time to react before the thing hits. So how does the Navy defeat the attacks already initiated by enemies? This is where the US Navy ships and aircraft come into play. See, the Navy not only patrols the water, but they're prepared for intercepting enemy attacks. For example, if an enemy missile is detected heading their way, within no time the Navy fires missiles like the Sea Sparrow to counter the incoming threat and strike it down before it can cause any harm. But it's important to remember that enemy missiles can very much slip through undetected. This is where the Close Weapons System, or CIWS, comes in. It's the boundary of defense. See, this thing automatically detects, locks onto, and fires a hail of bullets at incoming threats, shredding them into pieces. Furthermore, let's talk a little bit about the US Navy's aircraft because they're a pretty big deal. The F-35, also known as the Navy's Ghost in the Sky, is a stealth fighter jet designed to slip past enemy radar unseen, strike with precision, and meet the unique demands of sea-based operations. This thing hits hard while avoiding the grasp of radar. The main purpose of the F-35 is to defeat targets while keeping a low profile. To add to its deadly game, the F-35 is not soaring in the sky alone. Accompanying it are the Navy MH-60R helicopters. These flying predators are a nightmare for underwater hunters, dispatching sonar buoys underwater, listening for the quietest whisper. Once the target's been identified, these helicopters can launch torpedoes into the layers of the ocean to neutralize the threat, making sure that the area stays under control of the Navy. Now enhancing its mission, the P-8A Poseidon aircraft takes responsibility for the larger expanses of the water. See, they can also drop sonar buoys, but in a pattern that creates an acoustic network that can look for the most elusive underwater threats, also laying mines that create an underwater barrier so no enemy has a chance to silently cross. Talking about mines, the US Navy's MH-53E Dragon helicopters specialize in a different kind of purpose. These airborne mammoths sweep the sea with powerful detectors and sniff out mines laid by the enemies in the deep sea, ensuring the passage is safe for the vessels to cross through potentially dangerous areas of ocean. The Navy also sends out unmanned vessels that can sink into the depths without the risk of humans, identifying and disarming underwater mines. These vessels are monitored and controlled from inside the carrier. This combination of unmanned and manned system create a layer of security and maintain an unfazed shield over and beneath the water. Facing new threats that evolve quickly, the US Navy is already on to developing futuristic systems like cyber warfare tools, helping fortify the shield and keep dominance. And in the meantime, we've also got the use of artificial intelligence. AI is the future, and navies worldwide are trying to make use of it. The US Navy is not simply moving on, rather they're using the information and skills they've acquired to improve their existing armaments while working on future strategies. Now if you enjoyed this video, we ask you to like it and subscribe to our channel to show your support. That support means a lot to us and keeps us motivated to make more videos on the US Navy for all of y'all. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you all in our next video.